Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial of exploit pack. Uh, on this one, I'm gonna show you how to uh, run an exploit inside this exploitation framework. Okay, so um, first of all, you have to uh, have to properly set up your interpreted path, your default one, and here under preferences, and then in your exploit code. Uh, you can choose the one you you would like to use, right? Uh, so as a default, in my case, I'm using Python, but uh, you could choose Perl or Ruby or anything else, right? And then uh, Exploit Pack will uh, try to read this line on top of it, and then uh, yeah, pick up the that particular interpreter. Yeah, and then uh, of course th this is the editor where you will have your code. Uh, basically, an exploit for exploit path will contain a module, and this module will is gonna be an XML file and the code that we are seeing it here, right? If you wanna edit the, the XML file, then you can click on edit, and then you can uh, modify the properties. Some of the properties are gonna be shown inside this quick information uh, window. Okay, let's click on cancel on this one and then uh, how to use the editor uh, it's basically really straightforward just put your code there click on save here clear and you can also auto complete some stuff like if i wanna if i'm doing some exploit uh, next exploit here and then i um, I'm, i would like to try something then uh then i can choose add a pattern at the brown pattern here let's say 256 um you can also add your own auto completion things uh, so for, for that particular list. And if I want to change the shell code, I wanna, uh, for instance, I, I would like to use a shell code for Windows uh, for uh, 64. Yeah, there you go. And then uh, let's say I want to uh, do a four here, right? Four and then auto complete. Yeah, so control plus space, and then you will call the autocomplete. And then when you have it here, then click on exploit and save. You can export this exploit, and it will be choose a zip file that inside of uh, inside of it, uh, it will have your a folder called ex call it exploits, and inside that one you will have your module and the XML file, and then you can share it with another user of Exploit Pack, and also he can uh, come here and then import that module here by going there and then looking for the zip file and then yeah choose import it and then it will be listed here and you will be able to find it yeah and if it's not there then you can refresh module or yeah and then you will see it or close and open again explain back that should do uh, okay guys that's basically it that's how you use the editor and how you run an exploit and I think I uh, I think it is uh, I forgot the most important thing is just click on exploit and say right so once you have it here and you choose your target let's say uh, localhost and then um, you click uh, exploit and save and there are some stuff that you you will learn on how to how to use exploit pack for instance uh, you can set up remote shells and then you can set up the the exploit types only this this particular exploit only have an execute code but you can uh, change this the shell code type you want to run and yeah define the ports and so there are some options there but this is how you run an exploit okay guys so see you in the next video bye